Good morning, kindergartners. Happy Thursday, happy art day. Welcome back to art. This is our last art class before we go on winter break. So you're gonna need a piece of paper, pencil, crayons, markers, colored pencil, whatever you're gonna color with. Um, we're gonna be creating this cool piece of artwork. And before we get started, I just wanna say I hope you all have a wonderful break with your family. I hope you get time to relax. Um, I hope that it snows so we can go outside and play in that and um, just be safe and have a wonderful break. Okay, let's get started. All right, good morning, kindergarten. So we are going to read a book that is called Lines That Wiggle by Candace Whitman, and the illustrations are by Steve Wilson. Now, I can't remember if we've read this before or not, but if we have, it'll just be a little review to do what we're gonna be doing today. One, a fun little one day uh, winter art project before we go into winter break. Lines that wiggle. Lines that wiggle. Lines that bend. See how the lines are bending? These are wiggling. Wavy lines from end to end. Lines that tickle, lines that sprout. Bugs have lines that stick right out. This one's upside down. Lines to trap, like a spider web, is made up of lines. Lines to hide, straight skinny lines. Two lines running side by side. It's like they created a little path because they ran side by side. Lines that curve, lines that curl. Underwater lines that swirl. Lines that crisscross. Lines that mend, meaning they help put the flower back together. They mended it. Lines with doggies at the end. Look at all those dogs. That's a lot. Lines that scurry. Lines in threes. Lines in leaves that grow on trees. If you look closely at leaves, you'll see lines on them, right? Lines that twist. Lines that sway. This looks like almost like grass swaying in the wind. Lines that swish the flies away. There's a horse swishing its tail so the flies stay away. Zigzag lines light up the sky. Rainbow lines are way up high. Lines are everywhere you look. Find some lines not in this book. Look at all the lines on this page. We have wiggly lines, we have dotted lines, we have scurrying lines, lines on leaves, lines up in the sky. Now, it is your turn, so whoever you're with at home, why don't you go on a little scavenger hunt to try to find some lines wherever you are and point them out. After you're done with that, we're gonna get started. So, all you're gonna need is a piece of paper, okay? A pencil and then some crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you're gonna use to color. So I have my paper, I want it to turn this way. I want it long going this way, not long going this way. 
okay? So I'm gonna turn it. And you're gonna do some tracing. So you may need some help from an adult. All you're gonna do is you're going to take your hand and put it towards this side of the paper on an angle. So this, is, this would be straight. I want it on an angle a little bit like this, okay? And you are just going to, you're not gonna trace your fingers. So you actually want your fingers closed. Usually if you're tracing your hand, you want them open like this. I want them closed like this. And you are going to kind of just go around. Like that. And then you're gonna do the other one on the other side. But make sure they're not touching or overlapping. We wanna have enough space. It's even tricky for me to trace with my left hand because I am right-handed. So this is kind of tricky for me. All right, there we go. You can tell which one's better than the other, right? Okay, now we get to design our own. What do you think these are? They're gonna be our mittens. So we're going to design our own mittens. So, and we're gonna use the different types of lines that we just learned about. So what you can do is you can outline these with marker or crayon, whatever you would like to. I'm gonna do mine with black crayon. Now, I will say this, if you would prefer, I'm gonna give you guys a choice, you can either do two, or you can flip your paper over and do it long ways, up and down, and include part of your arm, or your wrist, yeah, your arm, like this, and just do one big mitten instead of two. Like that, right? You could do that too. So it's up to you, I'm gonna let you decide. I'm gonna go back over <clears throat> on this side, or you can do both. Do one on one side and one on the other, and then take a picture of which one you like best and upload it like we always do. All right, so I have my mittens outlined now. I traced over my pencil line, okay? And then I can break my, I can use a black or I can use a different color. And I'm just gonna draw some lines going across on my mittens. Could do them like that too. Okay, so you can have the you can have this line go down if you want to, or you can leave it where it's open. Now yours does not have to be exactly like this, but we're going to be using lines to design our mittens. So, if you remember some of our lines from our book go back and look at them. So in here I have lines that wiggle, right? So I can get a color and my mittens don't have to match. I don't have to have matching mittens, but I can do lines that wiggle like that. And I could do them on both sides if I want to so that they match. And I could take a lighter color. You don't want to color over these with a dark color because then it'll cover it up. But I could take a color and color in the background like that. Or I could color first um, on my mittens and then do a darker color on top. So I'm gonna color this next spot in gray, and then I'm gonna have to use a dark color to go over it with whatever I decide to do. 
whatever type of line I decide to use. So maybe I'm going to do these little, actually no, I'll do the lines that bend. So I'm going to do like little, almost like a U. So I can go... So again, your, your mittens don't have to be matching, okay? So your mittens, you can have them however you want. But now I'm going to do those wavy lines from end to end. So from one end to the other end, wavy lines. Okay. Now... Maybe I'm going to have oh, lines that sprout, lines that stick right out. I like these dotted lines, so I'm going to do that next. So I'm just going to color really lightly with my orange. And then I'm actually going to use the same color, the same crayon, but I'm going to press harder so that I can get a darker orange. And I'm gonna do those dotted lines. Or, you know, dashed lines, like that. Lines that swirl, so I could do Lines that swirl. Right? I can do striped lines or diagonal lines like that. do I have? I can do the tall straight skinny lines so I can just go like this do a line going across oh I have lines in threes so I could grab three different crayons if they'll fit and I can draw them going across. You gotta hold them, it's kind of hard, but if you hold them all three together, look at that, lines in threes. Let's see, we didn't do zigzag lines yet, so we can do that. And we can do green in the background. So if you want, you can p go back and pause um, in different parts of the book that I read in to find out, to figure out what kind of lines you want to do so that you can see them. And you're just going to fill up your mittens with those different types of lines. Now, once you're finished, you can go and um, 
do a background so you can color your whole background. Let's say maybe you want to do it blue, right? the whole thing blue and then maybe you want to go back and add some big snowflakes so make an X and then a line down and a line across or you could do dots or you could do both okay so once you are finished and you have colored the whole thing you can take a picture and upload it into Seesaw. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful winter break. I hope you get to spend some time with family and relax, get outside and play. Hopefully we get some snow, and I just hope you guys have a great break. Have a great day.